Let's queer up trans rights. Candace Kane's Secret Garden debuts on the Advocate Channel. Candace Kane, a pioneering actress, has dedicated her life to embracing her true self and promoting the beauty of life's diversity. Known for her groundbreaking role as Carmelita Rayner on ABC's Dirty Sexy Money, she became the first transgender actress with a recurring starring role on a network TV series. Now alongside her best friend, Dana Davis, she has co-founded Mary It's Mary Productions to share their compelling stories. The result is Candace's Secret Garden. It's a captivating half-hour reality TV gardening show where Candace not only stars, but is also the co-writer. Infused with magic, beauty, and kindness, the show featuring Bruce Valange, Rain Valdez, and Luis Fernandez Gill brings joy to gardening. Tune in every Friday at 7 p.m. on the Advocate Channel to be part of this magic. I have a secret. And I finally decided to tell you all about it. Good morning, Candace. You were having a party last night, weren't you? Welcome to Candace Kane's Secret Garden. <laughs> Candace, I'm here and I'm all yours. You heard that. Each week I'm going to be visiting a new friend to help them create their own secret garden and help you a little bit too at home. Candace! Bruce Valange! Candace Kane, are you here for the pickleball tournament? <laughs> Excuse me! Hi, <laughs> Hi. Hi. Rain had told me that she wanted some shade from the sun. And so along one side, I planted hedges, which are going to grow eventually up. And then I decided to go with a little purple section with her plums that she had here. What a fantastic way to start my birthday. So today I'm going to do a fabulous little cocktail called the Buzzy Bee. This is really so easy to do at home. Let me show you. I could do this all day. You're talking greenhouse, red mary. What else would I be talking about, succulent? <laughs> See, anything's possible in the secret garden. Together, we can discover what can grow with the proper nourishment and a little bit of magic. We'll be in the tree. Perfect. Don't forget, good things happen when you get a little dirty. <laughs> All right, as promised, we're going to take a few minutes to get to know Candace even better. <laughs> I, okay, we, I, spoiler alert behind the scenes. We talked a, few, a couple weeks ago about this and had a fantastic conversation. This is such a creative and fun and goofy show. And um, as, we, as I like to say, the pandemic was terrible, yes. but a few good things came out of it. One of which is your garden, which you've tried to keep a secret, but you no longer are. I know. <laughs> tell me a little. <laughs> tell us a little bit about this show on Advocate every Friday. Um, well, it's called Candace Kane's Secret Garden, and I, you know, I started gar. I've been a, I've been gardening lightly throughout my life. <laughs> I grew up in Maui. It's super lush. There was plants and trees all around me. My parents were, you know, really well versed in in names, and and so I had this this curiosity about it. And when I was bored at my house, waiting for the pandemic to end, <laughs> and I saw this blank canvas, I started gardening and i started really first with aloes because there's you know 700 different species of aloe and i started wow, collecting okay. different kinds of aloes and i'm up to like 165 species Whoa. of aloe in my backyard um and so i got it to this point where i was like this needs to be seen and i was like i want to do a garden show and then of course dana davis who started who was here a couple weeks yeah, ago yeah, what a great interview she's wonderful she's as pretty wonderful pretty now i'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no, we started a, we started a production company called Mary's Mary Productions because we wanted to start writing trans content. And um, our first show 
uh, Secret Garden uh, we wanted to write. And she was like, I really think that we need to bring magical creatures into this garden. So it's a combination of Martha Stewart living and P.B. Herman's <laughs> Playhouse. Um, and it's a, it's a super fun how-to, but also you get to meet all these magical creatures. And I garden at home and I do little makeovers on people's home. Oh, mm -hmm. so fun. so. Pee Wee's Playhouse and Martha Stewart. Those are two things that your target demographic are going to be able to identify exactly. with. Spoiler alert, I'm the target demographic. And so are you if you're watching this. Um, it's a lot of fun, but yes, you do need the magical creatures. And we're seeing a few here. Um, we saw in the, in the trailer. Um, I'm sure they're all fantastic. I need to know more about the Merman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mustafa, the magical <laughs> merman. He's so sweet. Derek Ocampa is his name. He's a great actor. And we were really wanting an actor with a big range and a really nice body <laughs> to you know, take off his shirt and wear a gorgeous uh, mermaid, merman tail. And he's actually really, really charming. And he's a perfect you know, little character in our garden. So I will be um, taking donation of people's <laughs> miles if you yeah. want to donate some of your frequent flyer miles so that the, on your next trip out here, we can yeah. also fly so have the come. merman out um, with you. You'll have to come and visit the secret garden. I can not I know. wait. All right. Um, I've monopolized all your time. <laughs> Panelists, do we have any questions for our, our esteemed guest tonight? Well, I just want to say that we have a party because, you know, we're on uh -huh. episode of eight this week of 10 episodes uh -huh. and on the Advocate channel. And so we decided, I wanted to come to South Florida and throw a party. Dana made me come here and said, we're throwing a party <laughs> for a secret garden here. So we're doing a party on Friday, uh, which is tomorrow um, at No Manor at eight o'clock. I'm in my, or might not be doing a number or two. Ooh. Okay. And we're just Ooh. gonna sub celebrate Secret Garden and, you know, all the hard work that we put into it. And that's going to be a really fun party. It's one of Wilton Manor's uh, newest clubs, yeah. and it's a really great space for entertainment. Some nights they have, like, um, jugglers on, on stilts or a unicycle. Sometimes they've got fire breathers. You never know what they're going to have on a particular night. Except for tomorrow, when we know that they're going to be when when well, Andy, we still don't Andy's know we don't we yeah. still don't know if she's performing though. That's we well, still don't know. but your oh. presence enough should oh. be enough to draw <laughs> your radius. To draw people <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, ab absolutely. Um, so, anybody, any questions? Um, well, I just want to say I, I've not seen the show, and I can't wait to see it, the oh. Secret Garden show because it, I have I've been in the same condo for the last. Uh, 20 years and it has wonderful light and plants are everywhere but something is not working so maybe i'll write you a fan letter and ask you to come to take a look sometime that would be very I cool um <laughs> okay you know this is the web i'm used to having um as much time as i want for um our interview segments i'm not <laughs> bound by 28 minutes to hit the network but sadly not tonight i have a box of wine waiting for me at home <laughs> that is desperately needed to be tended to. So <laughs> with that said, Candace, thank you so much for coming here thank tonight. You. Thank you for coming thank to South you. Florida. I know you're going to be working on some projects here over the next few months. So certainly you'll be back. Yes. Um, keep us updated on any celebrity feuds that continue <laughs> to fester. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll share a few afterwards. 